and today I have part 17 of The Legend of Zelda Burn. We are in the water temple right now. So, let's get back into it. So, the group swam out of the blue camel goblin room and back through the green bubble room in order to reach the main room. They then moved on to the next segment. They unlocked the door using the key they had just obtained and inside this room they found six blue Lazapos that were all decked out in diving gear. Okay, diving lizards? Now? Really? Keiko asked. Yes, really. This variety has learned how to swim and fight underwater. They are quite formidable foes, so watch out and keep your heart meters filled, Din said. Aw, oh, man, I really wish I had a weapon now. Nobu said. The six Lizalfo suddenly noticed that there were people in their room. They swam over quickly and all began attacking at once. It really wasn't fair as there were three heroes, one of which had no weapons, and six of them. Link's heart meter was beeping so Nobu covered for him as he went to get hearts from the clay pots that were around the room. Nobu then realized how difficult using a sword really was. He accidentally almost cut the tip of his own ear off while swinging at the Lizalfos. Link returned and took back his sword. Nobu went to get some hearts. When he returned, Keiko asked him to cover for her. The Lizalfos turned out to be not only very good at attacking underwater, but also very good at defending against attacks. Finally, the Lizalfos had all died and left the group with a large amount of rupees. Wow, I'm glad that's over. It was getting ugly out there. I promise, once I've regained enough power, I'll be more helpful, Din said. I found a key, Nobu said. Alright, let's unlock the next door. There better not be any more swimming those alphos, Kyoko said. Yeah, ew, Link said. Link can talk now? Keiko asked. Nah, nah. Link no like, Link said. He giggled and clapped his hands. Nobu unlocked the next door and found more blue tiles. This time they spelled out Hylia. Fairy, I thought you said blue camel goblins were rare, Keiko said. I thought they were, Din replied. I'm going to guess that Hylia is messing with us now. This time around, there was one less blue camel goblin. The fact that there was one less didn't make anything better, though. Nobu still had no weapon and was forced to set out again and just protect himself with the shield. Keiko's long orange hair was all over the place as the water had pulled it out of her ponytail. At one point, one blue camel goblin snuck up behind her and pulled on her hair with its slimy fingers. Ah! Help! Keiko screeched. Link sliced the blue camel goblin and it let go of Keiko's hair. I really need to fix my hair. You never see Gerudo girls with their hair loose. It's just not natural, Keiko said. She was blushing. Link smiled. Nobu rejoined them when they had finished killing all the monsters in the room. The next door opened by itself without them needing another key. I wonder what's beyond this door, Keiko said. She opened the door and went inside. The others joined her. The room's water was all murky at first. When the water cleared, there was a large guinea with a snorkeling mask on sitting in the center of the room. Whoa, that's one giant ghost, Nobu said. No, swimming ghosts now? This has to stop. Who thought of this? Keiko asked. The genie opened its eye and saw the group standing there. It let out a terrifying moan. Attack! Keiko ordered. Link nodded his head and swam at full speed towards the guinea. Nobu hesitated as he had no weapon to use against the giant genie. Keiko joined in the fight with her own sword. 
After Link and Keiko had hit the giant genie enough times, it split into a bunch of regular sized genies. Nobu chased after a few, pushing them back with his shield. Link and Keiko killed a few, but the rest all fused back together and formed it one giant genie again. The wisp at the end of the giant genie flicked back and forth in a taunting manner. Keiko looked furious as she swam and hit the giant genie as hard as she could. The giant genie split into a bunch of little ones again, thus starting the process over again. Finally, there was one last little genie to defeat. However, the little genie grew to the size of the giant genie. What? Impossible! Nobu cried out. The giant genie laughed evilly before Keiko snuck up on it and killed it. The giant genie died in a puff of purple smoke. It left behind a treasure box. Can I have it if it's a weapon? Nobu asked. Sure, it would be helpful if you had a weapon of your own, Keiko said. Link nodded in agreement. Nobu opened the chest and pulled out the hook shot. He held it proudly above his head. Da, 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 Link said. What is this? Nobu asked. You've got a hook shot. It can be used as a weapon or a way to get around easier. The tool is highly compacted and fits easily into pockets. When you use it, a sharp spear will shoot out and attach to a chain. And it can hook into almost anything, Din said. Yes! Double the usefulness, Nobu said. Use it wisely, Din said. What is a bad way to use it? Nobu asked. To access places you could easily access without it. You'll just get hurt and fall back down if you use it that way. Also, do not use it over your shoulder or you will end up with missing ear, Din said. Nobu's ears drooped. He had hoped that nobody would notice his little slip up. Why are my ears so big? Nobu asked. Eh, because you're still little. When you get older, you'll grow into your ears. And your eyes. Just saying, Din said. Something's wrong with my eyes? Nobu asked. He looked like he was about to cry. They are just a bit big, Din said. Fairy, enough bothering little boys. It's time to keep going. Keiko said. Ninky! Link squealed, all hugging himself. There doesn't appear to be any more rooms connected to this one, so we'll have to backtrack to the Blue Camel Goblin room and the Lizalfus room. There should be a few more places to go from the center room, Keiko said. Alright, lead the way, Nobu said. Keiko crumbled at that comment. Keiko, come on! You know how to navigate through here. You're a great you're great at leading, Nobu said. Yeah, yeah, Link said. I just I just don't want to lead, Keiko said. Well, I'll lead for you then. Everybody line up and swim out the door. Go, go, go! Then cried out, bouncing around in the water. Everybody lined up and swam out the room. And that's all for part 17. And so, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Part 18. I've written part 18 to like 30 something so far, so those will be out when you guys are ready for it because I make new parts whenever this gets popular. Anyhow, that is all. Bye.